Let's go to our planet and grab the fleet. So this is a fleet in orbit and the detail here means quite a few things. So we can see the shield, that's who owns it. The colour of the circle itself shows you their relationship to you. Green means it's one of yours. If it's a uh, federation then it'll have a different colour. If it's a friendly federation it'll have a different colour. If it's an enemy, different colour. And if it's uh, neutral, different colour. Then we've also got an icon here showing that this is a fleet rather than an orbital structure. And then the little plus here, this is actually our color blind system. So we have designed all of this to be usable by those who are color blind because we know that we do put a lot of emphasis on the different colors and the different meanings. And we wanted it to be as open as possible to other players. Anyway, let's go and click on our fleet. Uh, we are going to select the fleet, which is this one. Select and then select destination. It will zoom us out and then we can see the time it will take to move to the different locations. Now I will point out, and this is something which is a bit of an issue at the moment, alpha. Again, this is alpha testing. We are actually in orbit around this planet. It should be a little icon like we see here for a fleet in orbit around the sun, but that for some reason isn't working. So again, this is in development. I'm sorry about that, but there is a fleet here, I promise. And we are going to move them down to this planet down here, Karig 8. So we're just going to left click, confirm the move, and then they should, a moment later, appear. So if we go to Karig 8, once it's done scanning, we can now see, ah, there's stuff here on this world. So our fleet is now in orbit, which is allowing us to see what is going on on the ground. And if we actually zoom in on one of these shields, remember that I said that the shields show the owners, we can say, ah, we found some other people. And then we can click on the shield itself to get a little bit of information. This is what we call the dossier and it provides an overview of the empire you've just discovered. So here we have the pluralistic royal clans of Sawyer. The government of the Sawyerans are influenced primarily by their belief in the culture that is bountiful, unchanging and creates a backdrop of context to every citizen's life. The cool thing about this is that it is all procedurally generated. So as you discover these NPC factions, you will get that kind of information dropped in. And remember, uh, we may have mentioned before with the uh, Genesis system, all of this is context sensitive. So anything that's happened to this world can then be referenced by the empires which reside upon it. So now if we go to one of the other ones, we can click on these guys and we found that they are the Ezian Imperial Dominion. Ezeite religion centers around the sacred rites of the ancestors. And this way we can see that we have just a bunch of different empires which will all have their own unique themes, their own ideas. And this is a society that we basically call balkanized. So this is a world with multiple different NPC factions on it. They haven't yet established a global government as you might well find is the case with some of the other NPC factions out there. So this also is pretty cool, but the thing that I know you all want to see is actually flying around outside of the star system. So let's select our fleet here. If we then right click on it, fleet actions, then we can say move fleet to another star. And this brings us to the galactic map and we can see the items which are in our scanning range that is the red circle and then the areas that we can actually uh, move to in the blue circle we are here in the center in Karig and then up here in the north we have Dwitnild another system which is in range of our fleet so then if we go and left click on that we'll move over to it and now you can see that we have indeed moved to Dwitnild so if we go and click on the star system we can see that there are a bunch of different worlds here. However, we want to go even further. We want to go from Dwitnild and maybe go beyond where we've seen before. And in fact, we have noticed that there are a couple more systems out here. So let's go and grab our fleet from Dwitnild. All ships moving from a system to another system will fly to the sun and then basically from the sun they'll be able to transport elsewhere. So now if we go back to the map view, we can see that we are back in orbit around Dwitnild. And then we can select our ships, fleet actions, move fleet to another star, and then head over here to Machia. And now that we have arrived here in Machia, we can see that it is actually a binary system with two different suns. Uh, our fleet is here in orbit around the primary sun, and then we have a bunch of different planets which we could also visit. However, 
I don't want to spoil everything for you, so if you want to see what is going on in this game yourselves, you're just going to have to do some exploration of your own in Stereo MXCV. Thank you.